probability of intersection or union word problems. All right, in these problems, we're going to be using this formula. It's the probability addition formula. Basically, if you have two events that are occurring, event A and event B, and this might represent um, how many people like red and how many people like french fries. I mean, just two events, okay? Um, this union, this is the union symbol, it looks like a U, and this is like saying or. So how many people like red or french fries? So it's the combination of the two. That equals the probability um, that you like red plus the probability that you like french fries. And then if you notice here, that counts this area twice. So what we want to do is then subtract one of those. So you're taking away the probability that um, you like both of those things. Okay, so this is the intersection symbol. So intersection is like an and. It's like where they, the just the region that is true for both of them. Where or is the, is everything combined. Okay, for both of those events. Now there is a special case where things are mutually exclusive and basically that means that your event A and your event B don't have any overlapping um, area. Okay, when that happens the, this is zero in your formula, the intersection part, and so you just can add those two values together. Okay, in this example, it says suppose that 50%, 56% of the women who gave birth at a certain hospital last year were over 30 years old, and 46% were unmarried. If 31% of the women were both unmarried and over 30, what is the probability that a woman who gave birth at the hospital was over 30 or unmarried? Okay, so first of all, our events in this case are going to be um, being over 30 years old. So we'll, let's say O is for o, being over 30 years. And then um, let's let U equal unmarried. Suppose that 56% of the women who gave birth were over 30 years old. Okay, so that's going to be the probability of O is 0.56. So we'll go ahead and change our 56%. We divide 56 by 100, we get 0.56. And then it says that 46% were unmarried. So the probability of being unmarried, we're going to change that to 0.46. So 46 divided by 100. Now, if 31% of the women were both unmarried and over 30, is that a union or an intersection? Okay, it says they are both. Okay, so that's going to be the intersection. Okay, and that was 31%, so that's 0 0.31. And the question says, what is the probability, probability that the women who gave birth at the hospital were was over 30 or unmarried. So they want to know the union of these two events. So remember we're going to add the probability of being over 30 plus the probability of being unmarried and we're going to subtract that intersection because we don't want to count that twice. This is going to be the probability of being over 30 years old is 0.56 plus the probability of being um, unmarried is 0.46 and we're subtracting the probability of being over 30 and unmarried which was 0.31. We're do the math here and we're going to get 0 0.71 and that's our answer. All right in this example um, you have suppose that 54% of the people who inquire about investments at a certain brokerage firm end up investing in stocks. 44% end up investing in bonds. And 68% end up investing in stocks or bonds, or both. What is the probability that a person who inquires about investments at this firm will invest in both stocks and bonds? 
Okay, so we know that, so we have 54% are investing in stocks. So let's let S equal people investing in stocks. And so we know that the probability of that is 0.54. Okay, and then bonds. So B is going to be the event of investing in bonds. So the probability of investing in bonds is 0.44, right? So we're taking that value and dividing by 100. We get its decimal equivalent. Okay, now this part says 68% end up investing in stocks or bonds or both. So that or is that intersection. So the probability of inve investing in stocks or bonds, that's the union of stocks and bonds, is going to be 0.68. Okay, and the question says, what is the probability that, per, that a person in, who inquires about investments at this firm will invest in both stocks and bonds? Okay, so we want to know what the intersection is. Okay, so your formula, remember, is the union of these two events is going to equal the probability of each single event subtract the intersection of the two events. So this is just like, you know, a regular equation. You're going to plug stuff in here, the stuff you know, and solve it like you would it was a, if it was an x. Okay, that's 0.68 here, the intersection, and the probability of buying a stock is 0.54, plus the probability of buying a bond is 44. We're going to subtract probability of the intersection, which we don't know. That's what we're trying to find. Okay, so if this was an x, I would just add these two together and then subtract that result from 0.68. So, all right, so I added those together and it gives me 0.98. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract 0.98 from 0.68 and that gives me a negative 0.3 equals a negative probability of the intersection of those two events. So I'm going to divide both sides by a negative 1 and that gives me a positive 0.3. And that's the answer.